Uh, hello and welcome to Large or Special. Today we're we'll looking at how to download precipitation data that is basically rainfalls. Now we have monthly highly resolution uh, rainfall data available online. So many several sources are available, but today we're we'll looking at one of them which you can get your uh, rainfall data online for your analysis. All right, so you go on your browser and you search for C C R U sorry C R U data. So you click on it. Now you have this high resolution graded data set from the University of East Anglia. So you click on it. Now, once you click on it, you come back where we have this, this version released 19 April 2023. It covers the period of 1901 to 2022. So you have data from 1901 all the way to 2022. Now, the data set will appear here when granted. Coverage all land areas, excluding Antarctica, at 0 0.5 degree resolution. Available. These are how we will see the data pre for precipitation, temperature, so on and so forth. So basically, we now come down to this local uh, copy here, click on it. So once you've clicked on it, we have main read this various release notes. Then we have the main data, which is the main Google data, which is this one. You click on it. Now these are the rules we were talking about. We have the precipitation, so you click on it here. Now you have the data all the way down to where. So, um, I want to click on this. This is 2022. So, as you click on this, it will be down, it will download. So, you download. But what I want to do, I want to use uh, 2011 2020. So, I'm going to click on this and download it as well all right so back back So once it is downloaded, let's go to the folder. You right click and you extract it. So you're going to take it and we'll move to our work folder as usual. I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to take it to my local drive and then I'm going to my work. I'm going to paste it here. So now let's launch ArcGIS. ArcMap. So once we're on ArcGIS, um, Want to import the data we just downloaded? So you go to toolbox. So you go on catalog, or you click on this toolbox here. So under toolbox, you click on system toolbox. So we're going to come down to uh, multi-dimension, multi-dimension tool. Then you're going to come to make uh, net CDF raster layer. So you're going to click on this. And then the input will be that file we just downloaded. So we're going to go back. We have it here. So you click on this and you click on open. So you change uh, this to time the band dimension 
and they're going down to all the changes that basically that's all. So you come down and then you look on okay. So it will import that the last day that's imported this for the very global and then this is very, very interesting. So the worst thing has been a little just like we were interested in working in Africa, but I think this is what I intend to show you to do and this video. This is how we can get your precipitation data and then this is how we can import it into ArcGIS and then can it contains data from nineteen oh and down to twenty twenty two. Now what I do not know, which if somebody have more idea to let us know, because we that and we leave most of the information on their website. It's read of the ballot one, it's covers all of when I will have to because you can actually look into the balance of this and see balance of all of those we have to expand this and after we expect it, you should be able to have uh, you will be able to see other bands included in this whole work. Now, the bands are over 100 and something band. So I want to know briefly, by what implication, it implies that uh, the, the bounds covers. Let's check it so that I am not the only one talking. So you can see that there are precipitation band from band one to to band ninety nine. So could this be that these bands are ninety nine temperature? So if you have any information, thank you that person so that will go also learn from it. And uh don't forget to like, share and comment this on this video. Uh I'll see you in the next video.